Good morning. Wow, those titties are really showing. Good morning. All right, up in Adam, it is 5.35 a.m. I got up at 4.30 actually without an alarm because I went to bed at eight o'clock last night. But I'm really excited. I have a really fun day today. I'm going to go to the gym at 6.30. And then after that, going to um, spin class. And then I have a massage. And then my friend, who's a realtor, is picking me up. And we're going to go look at some properties in San Diego because my partner and I are buying a home in San Diego together. Which is really fucking exciting because it means at the end of this year, as soon as my house in Austin closes, then that'll be three doors that I own. One in Nashville, one in Austin, and one in San Diego. Boop, 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 boop. Come work with me and I'll show you how to change a motherfucking life. Here we go. So I am heading to the gym. It's 6.08 a.m. Gonna go hit the gym 6.30 and then a spin class. I'm actually in my boyfriend's truck because he's in Guam right now for work. And he said, drive my truck, use my gas. And I said, okay. <laughs> so yeah, heading to the gym, excited. I'm so excited for my life dude like I have work this weekend and then I have next week of work and then after that me and Frankie are going to Italy for uh my gosh for like 10 days I'm so fucking excited I've always wanted to go to Italy I had a trip planned to Italy in 2020 but then of course 2020 happened so I didn't go <laughs> um and it, it all worked out because the person I was going to go with in 2020, like, I'm actually, like, no longer friends with that person anymore. So, like, everything happens in perfect timing and I'm really fucking excited to go see this house today. Or we're going, I am going to see a couple houses today, but there's one in particular that I really like and I just have a feeling like we're going to put an offer in and buy a house today. Woo! There's our workout for the day. <laughs> my nectar of course when I get home from Italy and I start training for my competition show my very first one ever I'm definitely not gonna be able to eat these or drink these so just really savoring every sip and then I'm gonna go home <clears throat> I have a massage and then go look at houses golly what a beautiful day <laughs> So Lacey just picked me up. Yes, we're gonna go look at some houses today, baby. Yeah, <laughs> so excited. Might be buying a house today. 
<laughs> okay, so we just got done with the one, two. Oh, this is the third place that we saw. Third place, three places down so far. One to go. One to go. I like the second one. I forgot to vlog while we were there. Whoopsies. She was caught up in the excitement. <laughs> I was caught up in the excitement and I had to FaceTime my man so you could see it. <laughs> but yeah, moving on to number four and we'll see how it goes. House number four. Number four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I'm remembering to vlog. This one's cuter than the, this will, yeah. the this other one. Have a nicer said. background. Yeah. Cute little porch. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How's it going? Tossing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's rough. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's been a little over a week, or just about a week, it's like, like eight. Okay. Getting ready for work today, right now. So, <clears throat> um, really exciting news. We actually put an offer in on um, a new build, and it got accepted. Um, however, we are going to be going, um, and looking at a couple other places tomorrow, um, uh, cause we have a little bit of time to see, and now we like some negotiation wiggle room on our spots, but yeah, I'm really excited. So yeah, that's fun. Um, trying to obviously motivate myself per usual to... Yeah, good stripper today get myself into the club it's it's hard um i get on like you know vacation mood i'm going to italy like not next week the week after with my love um so really it should be grind time right now and then play time after um but you know your girl goes through ups and downs with the motivation department and that is a-okay <laughs> okay so wanted to show you a little bit what's in my work bag let's see I'm gonna clip this bandana from when it was 2020 and we had to wear the mask i don't know why i have this because i got a new band that so i put in my makeup bag eyelash curler chopstick little powder a little uh, comb that always goes in this is actually where my I keep my cash during my shift I'll show you that I have my wallet of course I'm gonna grab this so that way I can film content <laughs> so I can grab some content for the vlog um and then I'm gonna go make some food so I can bring a snack to work I'm literally just going to cook some meat because I've been on that carnivore diet. So, I'm going to cook meat and cut up some like salami kind of treat thing. Not a treat, but you know what I'm saying. Basil. I have been ordering my meat from this company, Nose to Tail. It's a company, it's actually located in Austin, Texas, and it's just a um, healthier place where they raise their cattle, not a cattle farm, and it's just cleaner, better meat. Uh, as you know, my health has been my priority, and so it's really important where I get my meat from, where I source my meat. So nose to tail it is. I need to get some sharper knives as well. That's for sure. I 
I really need to get some better knives because this knife set that I have is, I mean, get better knives or I guess sharpen your tool, right? Oh, that's a metaphor for that. Sharpen your tools. That's what I need to do. I need to sharpen my motherfucking tools. <laughs> I'm so excited we like fucking bought a house today. What? This, yeah, I'm gonna use it as I'm gonna make each door or each room its own unit and then rent it out to uh, traveling nurses. Do they have a lot of people out there for that? Um, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. finished my shift I was gonna say back at home but I'm not at home cuz I'm at the bank gonna put my money in the bank but I wanted to close out the session today the vloggy vlog so okay <laughs> so today I worked from 2 to 7 so I did my little day shift I worked for five hours and it was really um, right when I got there, I started like making money. So that was fun. I'm really proud of myself for going into work. I'm always proud of myself for going into work. Always celebrate myself for that, for sure. Um, it was, um, it was an easy shift. Like it was fun. It was easy, N you know, money flowed, love it. <laughs> I did tell myself I was going to work for seven hours and then I left after five because my stomach was a little bit like irritating me a little bit, but you know, I could have dug deep and stayed for two more hours, but that's okay. So I worked two to 7 p.m. day shift, Saturday day shift, and let's do a little money count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I walked today with, let's put the hundreds in the front, 
$1,300, which I'm grateful for. I am so grateful for. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the money, honey. Which equals, like, I think it's $260 an hour, which is great. Mm -mm -mm. Um, okay. My stripper session for the day is this. I actually made a TikTok. <laughs> I took some, a clip of what I was doing at work uh, today and I made a TikTok saying this. And I said, remember to celebrate the behavior, not the result. Now, I talk about this. Uh, I've talked about this before. And it, it's actually coming through again <clears throat> because it's interesting. I had been struggling with my motivation to go to work. So I was talking to my man about it. And he was trying to be helpful. And he was like, you know, why don't you just focus? Uh, why don't you set like a monetary goal and go in and make that shift? And it just brought me back. And I was like, this is like a deep spiritual energetic practice that I have as far as not putting pressure or emphasis on the amount of money to make every shift because like we know like we know no matter what sometimes it's just not your day and you can go in there and make a hundred bucks 200 bucks 500 bucks and then other days you can go in there and make thousand dollars two thousand dollars three thousand dollars plus right um if you are just celebrating the result then the behavior goes unnoticed when in reality the behavior is what deserves to be celebrated the behavior of going into work the behavior of working the hours that you said you're going to even though i left work two hours early but i'm human um celebrating the behavior not the result i am celebrating the fact that i went into the club and then i worked for five hours of course yeah duh of course you get to celebrate like how much money you make and stuff but in like it's like a basic principle of i deserve to celebrate my behavior regardless of what my result is because if you get up and you do your thing and you go into work and you try your hardest that deserves to be celebrated and the money will fucking come but if we put our celebration on an outcome then that is not fair to yourself for like totally not even looking and acknowledging your behavior, right? So celebrate the behavior, not the result. Again, not that you can't celebrate the money that you make when you have a good shift because fuck yeah, celebrate that shit, baby. Mm, uh. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for tuning in to my vlog and I hope you're loving them. Uh, make sure and comment or subscribe, comment, like, share, all of the things. Uh, and I am super excited. I will be back next week for another vlogging vlog. <laughs> Add it up.